this video I'm going to show you the setup of the Skim Doctor 2.0. And all you're going to need is your existing skimmer basket. And if you order the Skim Doctor back attachment, I'll go ahead and show you that in a separate video. One of the really nice features of the Skim Doctor 2.0 is now they have a skimmer stock for it. Included with the Skim Doctor 2.0 is all the parts you're going to need to install it onto your skimmer basket. You have the rods here, you have the nuts that go on top of the rods. You also have this flange here if you have a larger skimmer basket. You can put this around the rim of it. So if you have a larger skimmer basket, you can use this flange here. It just snaps together here. So you would just sit it on top of the basket like this. Then you would attach the Skim Doctor 2.0 to it. Yeah, okay, the first thing you want to do is turn the basket over. You want to stick the rods down here to the side near the middle of the basket. Okay, then we'll turn the basket over. If you're going to use the flange, go ahead and set it on the basket. Okay, you'll take the top of the skim doctor and slide it over these rods. Now you want to take the blue nut, put it on the rod here, screw it in. Also on the bottom of the rod, you can use a Phillips drill bit. You can screw it in with that. Now you want to make sure that the bottom of the basket is lined up with the skim doctor on top, either the flange or just the skim doctor itself. So you want to screw the blue nuts in until they're flush with the basket. And if you're going to use a filter stock, unlike the traditional filter stock that fits inside the skimmer basket, you can put this one on the outside of the basket. They sell various size socks. And getting the filter stock on is very easy. Just take the top off the Skim Doctor 2.0. Then you would stretch the sock out, put it over the bottom of the basket. Once you have the sock all the way around the basket, you see these brass rings. Go ahead and put it on these plastic tabs. And if the rods stick up far enough in your basket, you can also put the brass rings over the rods. And I prefer putting the sock over the brass rods. It makes it much more secure in the Skim Doctor 2.0. And once you have the Skim Doctor 2.0 assembled, now it's just a matter of setting the gate for your particular pump. The nice thing about the Skim Doctor 2.0, it has two openings. So if you have a 1.5 or 2 horsepower pump, it'll work great in your skimmer. So depending on the size of your pump, will determine the size of the opening. So depending on your pump size, you want to open and close the gate to get the maximum skimmer velocity. And the nice thing about the Skim Doctor 2.0, you want to empty the basket, the top comes right off. Just unscrew it. So that's the installation process of the Skim Doctor 2.0 on your skimmer basket.